Are you new to running and preparing for your first race? In that case, you're in the right place. Here are my top tips to make sure you get the best out of your first race. Okay, so tip number one, you've got to firstly think about distance. What distance are you going to be undertaking during your first race? Is it a 5K? Is it a 10K? Um, those are typical kind of beginner races, really, the first ones you sort of get involved with and, and apply for. Think about that distance very carefully. Have you undertaken that distance before? Have you run lots of 5Ks? Have you undertaken that 10K distance previously? Are the legs up to it? Um, so think about the training you're gonna need to do. Um, keep that in your mind. What is that distance that you're trying to achieve? What's the elevation of uh, the race like that you're looking to apply to do? Um, don't get caught out. It's very easy to apply for a race, then perhaps realize, oh, hang on, it's partly on trails. It's, it's a very hilly race, there's lots of elevation. Um, so don't be caught out by that. Do your homework first before you apply for the race. Find a training plan that's appropriate for that distance and stick to it. Make sure you've got a few weeks to uh, build yourself up and work towards it. Then you'll truly get the best out of the race. Park runs are really useful. If you're looking to do a 5K race, um, they can help you build up to that distance. If you're applying to do a 10K race, do check what types of terrain that you're gonna be uh, expected to go over. Is there grass, is there track, gravel, so on. But don't get caught out. Make sure you check as to what sort of terrains are there. Do a recce if you can, that's always useful. So tip number two, what time do you want to realistically try and complete the race in? Now, you've got to be realistic here. Well, and what I always try to do is have some sort of uh, push goal, so something that's going to really push you if you give everything, and then maybe a backup goal, perhaps if things aren't going quite so well during the race, um, things haven't panned out as you thought they were going to. If you're going for that push goal, you'll probably need to look to do some speed work. I'm going to be doing a video on that very soon. Once it's there, I'll post it up um, in a card up at the top of the screen. If you are going for that 10k distance, make sure you build up that training very slowly so you can get towards your push goal. Tip number three, when you are training for this first race that you're gonna do, if you do pick up an injury, be very cautious as to when you come back to that training. Make sure you give your body time to heal. It's really, really important. As runners, we're always really keen to get back out there on the pavement, on the road, and continue our progression with our running but we've got to make sure that we allow our body to heal um, it's the it's the machine we use to run um, if you've got niggles here and there you're only going to make them worse okay if you get back out there too soon so tip number four traveling if you're traveling to do a race make sure you leave early give yourself enough time that you can get to the race event um, wherever it's uh, being held uh, and you don't need to worry you don't need to stress so allow lots of extra time so do your homework prior to the event. Uh, where is the event taking place? Are there any road works? Are there any diversions? Has the weather caused some issues? Perhaps if it's a trail-based event, things can happen. Wind, rain, it could hamper your ability to get to the event on time. Check things like where you're gonna park. Is there a car park that's been put aside for the event? Um, do you need to pay um, to park somewhere nearby in a public car park? All these things are very important. They can help to reduce that stress on you um, on the day of the race. It's all about minimizing those potential problems um, so they aren't a problem for you. You can then focus truly on uh, trying to achieve the best time you can during your race. So tip number five is all about preparation. Make sure that the night before you've packed your bag, you've got all of your gear with you, your socks, your shoes, uh, whatever running equipment you're gonna need um, make sure it's all packed and ready you've got some extra safety pins you've got your gels you've got whatever drinks so all you've got to do is get up on the morning of the race grab your bag get into your car or whatever transport you're using maybe you're just walking uh, and you don't have to worry about anything you know it's all there part of that preparation is looking at perhaps some past results for that race understand the field that you're going to be uh, running against who are your uh, competitors going to be what sort of times did they achieve perhaps in in previous events that will all help you to prepare and understand what you're going to be undertaking really so when you do get to the race and you've checked in and you've got your number or that kind of thing try and find a quiet place somewhere um, at the event where you can sort of sit down 
you can uh, take a bit of time just to consider what you're going to do. Um, maybe you wish to switch some gear out, you might want to wear a different t-shirt, switch your vest, those type, kind of things. It's really important to have a nice quiet place, you've got a bit of peace of mind, you can just sit there uh, and prepare yourself. Really important guys to warm up before the start of the race. Um, for a 5k for example, I tend to do round about a mile of uh, just light warming up just to elevate my heart rate a little bit, really open up my um, my shoulders, my lungs, um, just so I feel that I'm ready and I can really hit the ground running. I'll tend to undertake about 15 minutes of stretching, um, some range of motion type activities, uh, some work on my back. In, in the past I've had quite a bad back. Um, I don't really get that too much now, I'm a runner. But then again, I'm always stretching, making sure I'm limber, making sure I'm supple. Whatever you do, don't go into that race cold. So don't just expect to get to the start line and go hell for leather straight off the bat. Um, you're not going to achieve a good time. You're not going to enjoy the experience. Make sure you warm up and prepare. Okay, so when you do get to that start line, try and gauge where you need to be. Um, if you're a super elite runner, obviously, you're going to be right near the front of the start line. Um, if not, you're going to be a little bit further back. If you're aiming to just get around the course, make sure you're a little further back from that as well. Don't be pulled along by people who are going to be going at a much faster pace than you want to go. So, tip number six, during the race, hopefully you're going to be able to start at the pace um, that you envisaged going if you got yourself uh, into the right area of the uh, pack of runners. There's nothing worse than trying to overtake people if, you're, uh, if you gauge the pack wrongly and you got too far back. So do take note of your pace where possible. If you've got some sort of activity tracker or watch or something, do have a look down every so often and check that you are reaching somewhere around those paces that you've been training to. In terms of pace, you want to make sure that you're not going out too fast there's nothing worse than doing that because you know later on in the race you're going to pay for it and you're going to struggle. And there's nothing worse than uh, struggling near the end, feeling like you just want the race to be over. You're not enjoying it then. So make sure you do stick with those paces that you've been training at. You want to finish strongly in a race. So make sure you stick to those paces that you've been training at. Um, you don't want to tire towards the end. You're not going to enjoy your experience then. I like to use uh, kilometre notifications on my um, Apple Watch and that helps me to make sure I'm reaching those paces that I've been training at and that I'm aiming for. For a 5k, you don't really need to stop um, for water or food or anything like that. Um, perhaps some water if you're, if you're a beginner and you're um, slowly improving your time. But for a 5k, you don't really need it. For a 10k, typically they have some water stops along the way, but again, for a 10k, you don't really need any specific nutrition during the race. So tip number seven, the finish of the race. So as you're coming into that finish, the home straight as it were, uh, really make sure you've given everything you've got. You don't want to finish that race and think, oh, I kind of cantered through the finish line there. Uh, you could shave off a few seconds, and don't forget, if this is your very first race, perhaps at that distance, if, it, if it's a 5k or a 10k, it's gonna be your personal best, really. So really wanna set that bar high. Very important, when you do get to the end of the race, when you go through the finish line, remember to stop that watch. It's very easy to forget to do that. Uh, you're, you're congratulating each other, you've got your medal, um, your family are there, your friends are there, and then you suddenly think, oh, hang on, you know, I finished the race three, four minutes ago and I haven't stopped my watch. So remember to do that. Um, Strava does have a cropping feature, but it is a little bit fiddly, and I think it takes the excitement and the enjoyment out of uh, uploading your time then. So enjoy the end of the race. You've, you've achieved something fantastic. It's your very first race. Uh, you've got your medal. Take some pictures, really swim around in that feeling. It is a great feeling when you compete your very first race. So tip number eight, and the last tip for this video, is to make sure you refuel and you recover. So take some time, make sure you get some good nutrition, make sure you drink enough water, make sure you do perhaps undertake a warm down, uh, something along the lines of, for a 5K, for example, I tend to do a mile. Um, a very low pace, bring the pace right back, nine minute mile pace, and just make sure that you slowly warm down, give your body the opportunity to slowly come to a stop rather than a dead stop. Um, it's not gonna be good for your body. Make sure you feel strong and make sure that you feel okay if you do have to undertake some sort of car journey and you're driving. Um, you don't wanna cramp up during that journey, so uh, make sure you take some time before you think about traveling. 
Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I uh, hope the tips have been useful to you. Please hit that subscribe button and give a thumbs up to any videos that you particularly enjoyed and hit the bell for notifications. I've got lots more running content coming very soon. My name's Ed Bud and I'll be seeing you.